All right, so you're using React's new hooks feature. You're loading data asynchronously and everything's working fine until you run into this warning that says you cannot update state from an unmounted component. And you're left wondering, what the heck does this mean? So what it means is basically you've asked React to call us a state updater, but the component's no longer there. It's been unmounted. And so React tells you, hey, you're trying to update state, but the component's gone. So what we can do, we'll run through a quick example showing how we can make that error happen and then how we can fix it. So just to quickly recap, I have an app component with a uh, show page Boolean that we can quickly toggle with this toggle page function. And then we have a button to toggle it and we're just rendering the page if show page is true. And then in page, all it does is keeps track of data that we're gonna load from a server. It's gonna use effect to go load that data and then we're gonna pass in an empty array down here to make sure that the effect is only ran once. And then within the effect, um, we're using a set timeout for the purpose of the video, but this would be some API call. Okay, and then the page just renders the data. So when we run this, what happens is we'll wait for three seconds and then we'll see some data appear that we loaded from a server. But the bug happens when, while that data is loading, we remove the page component and then we get this error down here, okay? And the fix for this is actually quite simple. All we need to do is keep track of whether or not we've canceled uh, the component or unmounted. We'll call it unmounted as a better term. So we'll do unmounted, and then you can return functions from use effect that'll be called when the component is unmounted. So when the page component unmounts, this function will be run and will change unmounted to true. And then when we go to set data, all we have to check is, have we unmounted yet? And if we haven't, then we're good to set the data. Otherwise, just leave it. So now what that looks like is if we refresh, we remove the page while the data is loading, we can see that our data loads, but we don't get the error anymore. And that's basically just because we've you know, wrapped it in the if statement. We've kept track of whether or not the component is mounted or not, and if it's not, we don't update state anymore. All right, so that's been it for this week's episode of Snippet Sunday. I hope you enjoyed the topic this week. If you did, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter, at Owen Conti.